I love asking guys this because it's it's the call that you always dream of. And, you know, I to get to a place in my career where you're one phone call away but not getting it, I love having guys on the show and being able to ask what that moment was like when you got the call up to the big leagues. Where were you? How did it happen? Walk me through it. Yeah, uh, I was in double A. We were on the road in Pensacola. Uh, we had just won. And the manager called me in the in the office. All the coaches were in there. Uh told me told me that I was I was playing in the game tomorrow in Atlanta and I kinda I froze. Kinda like when I got drafted, I was just stuck. Like, nah. I told him, no, I'm not going. Because they're not <laughs> you're not telling me I'm going. I'm not going. That's not nah. then he told me again and I don't know, gave all of them a, a, a nice big old hug and, and went out in the locker room and everybody was out there uh, cheering for me, jumped on me in my locker and yeah, it was it was just great. And then I had to call my parents. Uh, yeah, there's a story out there about me calling my parents and, and asking them to pick me up from the airport. Uh, didn't didn't give them any context. Got context, just asked them if they could pick me up from the airport. They thought I was going to AAA. Then I said, Nah, I'm going. I'm going higher to. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I don't think my mom slept that night. Um, somehow, some way, it was like, it might have been like 12 in the morning, but she found a way to get everybody to the game the next day. And it was a day game. Like, she got a lot of people going to the game. So, uh, either she was waking everybody up or, or she did it bright and early. So, uh, it was it was pretty good to have everybody there and, I guess, get that moment. So, you debut, it was in Atlanta? Yes. That's so cool, man. Yeah, That's I'm, awesome. I mean, what are your, for this season, obviously you've had, I, I think, a great start to your career. Rookie of the year last year, incredible numbers. 2024, what are your personal goals? What are you trying to accomplish? Basically just being being consistent and, and I guess, starting, the se starting this season the way I ended last season. Uh, hopefully, hopefully make an all-star team. Hopefully, when it's over, so I better just get a gold glove finally. That's coming for it's sure. When you won the World Series. That's awesome, man. All right, a couple couple fun questions for you before we finish up. First, so far in your career, favorite stadium that you have been to? Favorite stadium that you like playing in? Other than other than Atlanta. So I like I like Pittsburgh. Okay. And I guess performance wise, I think I like Washington or I like Seattle. I like playing in Seattle too. It's a good self finder. Oh, LA had a great, great vibes. Dodgers. But yeah, uh, let's say Pirates is probably my favorite. All right. What about uh, the contrary? What about your least favorite? Oakley. <laughs> That's that is ninety five percent of the answers. It's either Oakland or a place where somebody just can't buy a hit. They're like, I I will forever say this place. I can't hit there. But yeah. Oakland's the normal answer. Yeah, there's some places I don't have hits too. I think, but <laughs> still kind of like it. Maybe. You uh you posted something the other day. Bunch of guys out on the golf course. You you said you got to look the best to play the worst. Where's your Where's your golf game at? How are you feeling about that? Feel good about it. Um, I guess consistently on mid eighties. Okay. But yeah, those guys are they're a little better than me, so I'm kind of on the the bottom the bottom tier of our of our players. But best golfer on the team, who is it? Austin Riley's up there. Mm. Jackson Stevens is up there. I'm missing it all. Bryce Elder. All right. He's actually a golfer in college too, in Texas. Oh, he was. Yes. I so you're out there shooting mid 80s, and you got a bunch of guys out there better than you. That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> as long as I look the best, that's all right. <laughs> uh, I got a, one of the best. One of the best videos I think that came out last year was a video of you watching Ronald Acuna. I think it was 2018. He hit that homer in the playoffs. And you went nuts. It was incredible. Did you, what did you think when you first saw that video out in public and out on social media going viral? 
Oh, uh, well, I knew it was out because I sent it to them to put it out. Um, <laughs> so we were doing, me and Ronald were doing a a video where we were watching each other with rookie, rookie year highlights. And mm-hmm. I said in the video that I remember, I remember uh, recording that in my living room. So I kind of sent it over to them to, to put it out. Uh, have a lot of videos like that, uh, just even in the regular season. And that's how, that's how locked in I was to, to bring. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, uh, then in 20, 2020 in the playoffs, I actually dressed up like full uni while they were playing. Kind of, <laughs> kind of acting like I was in the game and, and mimicking that. So it was, I don't know, it's just something about, something I've always done. And I guess to show my love for it. I guess this team been something about it is not there. What what is the single most insane thing you've ever seen Ronald Acuna do? Whether it be BP, spring training, a game, whatever. What's the craziest thing you've seen him do? In Arizona, my raking year. Mm-hmm. He did a ball in BP. The big the big jumble board, there's like three speakers on the side. He did mm-hmm. the like the top of the middle speaker on the side of the, the general board. And if you see a picture of it, you'll understand how crazy that is that he did that. That is absolutely wild. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.